that's Jonathan. Hi, it's Kirsten. Welcome to ABCD. Today we're going to do a retrograde urethrogram. And we do this in patients who are concerned for traumatic rupture of the urethra. Stand on the patient's right side wearing a lead gown, a plastic apron, sterile gloves. Have your radiographer stand on the patient's left hand side with the x-ray tube and got a 45 degrees towards the patient. Put the plate underneath. Have the lower strap of the pelvic binder undone. Use a sterile field as you would for any urinary catheterisation. Draw up 60 mils of contrast. We use Omnipake. Use a 12 French catheter and prime it with the contrast so there are no bubbles. Leave the syringe attached. Insert the catheter into the meatus three centimetres. Gently inflate the balloon up to three mils or up to the point where the patient experiences discomfort. Pinching the glands to create a tight seal, slowly instill 20 mils of contrast. Be careful to mop up any leaks to avoid artifact on the x-ray. Apply gentle traction to the catheter laterally to move the penis into an oblique plane. Move your hand out of the way and take the x-ray. Extravasation from urethral disruption will appear like as a flame-like density outside the urethra. If the contrast doesn't enter the bladder, you'll have a complete urethral disruption. You may need to repeat this up to three times to get the optimal image. Retrograde urethrogram. The operator stands on the patient's right, the x-ray and radiographer on the patient's left, angled at 45 degrees. Under the lower strap of the pelvic binder and prepare a sterile field. Draw up 60 mils of contrast and prime a 12 French catheter, ensuring there are no bubbles. Insert the catheter to three centimetres into the meatus. Inflate the balloon to three mils or until there is discomfort. Pinch the glands to create a tight seal. Slowly instill 20 mils of contrast. Clean up any leaks to avoid artifact. Apply lateral traction to the catheter to move the penis into an oblique position. Move your hand out of the way. Take the x-ray. You may need to repeat this up to three times as required. And that's how we do a retrograde urethrogram. Thank <laughs> you.